All right, hey guys, this is Patrick Payne, and this is a how-to on how to make a pyramid base in No Man's Sky. So what you want to do is find a nice habitable base with a good view, somewhere a pyramid would look good. And you're going to want to open your creative zone here and see how much room you've got. And you're going to want to pick somewhere halfway between your base and the limit. And a square block, always the squares, they're great to start with. And eyeball yourself a distance and whack it in. Now what you want to do for a pyramid is you're going to want to have an uneven number because you want one in the middle, which is going to be basically your lodestone. It goes right up to the top. So I've picked one in the middle and I'm going six either side. That number may come out a bit. Four, five, six. Oh, we don't need to count. This isn't Sesame Street. And we'll put more. And you do want to be careful that you've got these in the center because I have done one before and I've got about four layers up before I realized it wasn't even. Now the centre you're going to want to build tall, build up, and if anyone can figure out a better way to build up with these square blocks, let me know because this is my method and um, it's a bit time consuming, but it's nearly impossible to build them straight up. So there we go. As I said, we're, we're going to need to build out. Yeah. So we'll add another one on. And we'll probably need another. But that'll do for now. Now to build the sides, all you gotta do is take one of these triangle blocks that slope outwards, and plop it here, get another square, and not that one. And another triangle. Definitely gonna need it to come out of it. I'm gonna triangle delete now in the past. I have built the square blocks the whole way to the bottom and out along with the slope, but that'll get to your bulb limit pretty fast. So this technique is much better and saves you valuable bulb space. So you can get the idea of what we're doing. We want to have it sloping out basically like a pyramid. It's pretty self-explanatory. So we'll just rattle through a few more of these. And yeah, as I expected, we needed to build out one more. So that's one, that'll be, for now it's one in the center and eight outwards if you want to pyramid this side. Delete that. And you can delete these bottom ones in a bit. But we'll keep them here for a guideline. So you put that side done and I'll just do the same now on all four sides. And we'll rattle through. It's going to be a bit time consuming, so we'll skip forward and I'll see you when the sun goes down when it's finished. Because it takes a little while. Okie doke. So here we are. This is the full base done now with our sides. Now the rest is it's pretty straightforward and the same technique. What we want to do is, I've already deleted these bottom ones to show you an example of when they're gone. Now what we want to do is, just take these all the way. This will be your ground floor of your pyramid. You don't want blocks in the way. And you could take away the center ones too. Off you fuck. That's them gone. 
Now the technique is basically the same, but you're going to be building from the side of your initial slide down here. These things are complete bastards. They will not sit in the right spot. You'll get lucky once or twice and you won't have to change them like so. But it'll never inevitably need to be changed again like this bastard. You get an idea of the technique here. We just bring them from the center and bring them until they meet. Oh, that was a nice run we were on. And click. So, you see what we're doing. And this is going to be your outer structure for your pyramid. Really self explanatory. It's a little time consuming, but if you like pyramids, it's worth it. I think I'll add a Stargate to this base as well, just to appease my inner nerd. So yeah, you get the idea. It can be a little infuriating when they won't sit where you want them to sit. But this is basically it. So we'll rattle a couple more on and then we'll skip forward to when the main structure is completed. You've got the general idea. If you don't have the general idea by now, I don't know what's wrong with you. So, let's skip on forward now until it's completed. Go on, yeah, good thing. So here we go. As you can see, all the sides fold out nicely. Don't worry about these spaces just yet, because what we're going to do here is get one of our rectangle bricks, squares, and we'll just fill them in. Work your way down, it's easier to start from the top. They'll automatically fall into place. And that's one corner. And this is why it's easier to start from the top. It's just quicker. Really. You'll find this is pretty time consuming. But if you like pyramid shaped bases in the Usid Galaxy, you're gonna wanna try it. So there we go. So as I say, from the top is your best bet. And our pyramid is closing up nicely. So you're gonna want to skip this top one. We'll do that. Oh, I think I skipped two. Doesn't matter. So you leave a gap at the top. It's gonna make it nice and close in now, bar from that top hole. And I'll just give you a quick look around. So you see, it's pretty smooth in. There's no way in the current game mode to get those edges nice and flush. So the reason we left this one open is because it'll end up being your door. You see you've got a little bit of building room in here but if you do it correctly you can use the space well. So what you want to do is find yourself some cuboid rooms. <coughs> Pardon me. They'll give you great space. And you want to be careful about how you sit them here. Because if they're not exactly straight, they will divvy off and end up sliding out of your pyramid. So we'll put this here. Yep. No, see this isn't straight enough. We've slipped out the tops of these pyramid tops of these boxes will be outside of the pyramid now because of it's so flush. So we'll try again. No, it's definitely not Yeah. So it's trial and error, you can try as many times as you like. Maybe you won't want to put cuboid rooms in here, you might want to throw a couple of the bigger structures. 
And that's fine. This is your base. Well, this is my base. Your base that you build will be different. So, as you see, we just fill these in. Take the whole first square. Nice fit. Wishful thinking. So there we go, there's our first level. Now you want to take on these corner bits. You've got more room for it, so you may as well. You also widen out your corridors and give you more space for your terminals and what have you. And I like to add on these extra corners because you'll see. So now you've got a nice little cross-shaped courtyard here. Start a door so you can get inside. Attention. Welcome to your new base. So first I'll get another cuboid room and we'll build up a little. They just can confuse you a little bit, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just gotta keep track of where you're putting floors. Flory, flory, flory. Okay, so okay. there we go. And um, this is basically building the upper level, which will be my personal quarter. I might put a couple of beds in for the boys. We can all get one big bed, it'll be grand. It's not a judgeful universe. So then we'll want the stairs. As you can see, we've got a nice little, nice little room here. Raised corners. Let's pay top dollar for that. And you can really build whatever you want on here. You're wondering how we're going to get out now. Well, you can watch and see. Okay, so we'll head downstairs. Right, so what we want to put here is our terminals. Keep them out of the way. How's it going, man? Um, yeah, you too. Um, you fucking tell him, boy. You tell him. I'm a weak farmer. There we go, and then upstairs you can basically do whatever you want. A little office here. Yeah, really with upstairs and really with everywhere inside, it's completely up to you how you want to design it. The pyramid is your proverbial oyster. Ooh, put your oyster base. Be the pearl of the galaxy. Uh, I'm sorry, that was awful. That was just awful. Let's put the lights on here. And inevitably put one the wrong way around. Uh, yep. <sighs> so, yeah, you can really do whatever you want.
We make it super bad for the boys. There was four in the bed, and the vote team said, "Our shoot clock is back." So yet, as I say, it's all personal taste in here. I'll probably come back and redo this. I'm just showing examples. Now get out. We want a nice cuboid room. The old favorite. Oh, I've done this wrong. There we go. I'm not just adding another one in here, so it doesn't look so stupid. Oh yeah, the stairs. Well, regardless, this is all just personal taste. See, so yeah, we just built basically one cuboid room above, stuff on a little hollow door. I'll get your way out. I like to give myself a little exit light. In the last base I made, it was incredibly hard to see which hole I had at the top due to the darkness of the sky so a little light will help you when it's night time and you're leaving your base yes yeah. there we go pyramid I don't have to change this because that does not fit Yeah, if you want to make a farm inside your pyramid, it's everything. You've got plenty of space. Cuboid rooms allow you great space to lay out planters. And you've got your little courtyard. I sometimes use a courtyard for whatever. If you have a planet that you can grow valuable crop outside, it's great gives a nice homely feel like it's lived in and I'll usually put my tech out here as well if you fly into a system and see a communications terminal inside a pyramid you're gonna want to check that shit out I also wish we had subtitles so we could tell what they're saying when they shout at you as you walk past Like he could have just called me a dick, and I wouldn't know. Maybe they're just calling all of his, all of each other dicks. They're just all dicks, pyramid of dicks, hurling abuse at each other. Anyways, yeah, this is probably much easier. Or if anyone works out how to get the ladders, they work. A ladder would be great there. A little ladder to get out. So here we go. Oh, we forgot the most important part. The cap. So yeah, the cap is, as you would expect, a little triangle piece in the infrastructure. That, that one. There's the one. Pop! And she is complete! And that's basically it. Do whatever you want. We still haven't reached our building limit. You want to build some landing pads, whatever. Put them in. I'm going to put a little exo terminal in here. Because what's the point in having a guy with spare wings inside a pyramid? And a couple of landing pads. No, he's just refusing to go on. Refusing to go on. He's a little cardboard. Come on. Wait. 
Yeah, there you go. And as you say, you can build whatever you want on top of this, or around the other side. Completely up to you. If anyone has the balls, they make a Sphinx. Give it a go. I'd love to see it. Yep, there's the pyramid base. It only took a full day game time. It took about 40 minutes total playtime. And I think it looks pretty cool. Whee! Oh, I screwed up. This is what I was talking about when you want to place those straight, they'll stick out. But I'm not going to fix it right now. So yeah, here we go. Pyramid base. Loads of room. And it's pretty cool. Any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, that's us. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to ask you to like or subscribe because that's fucking dumb. And... There we go. Alright. Well that's it for me. Next time we'll do a little Exo Park how to. Alright. I'll catch you on the sub. Peace.